This is Lisa from Mobile Tech Review, and now for something a little bit different. Since we generally do hardware reviews, the folks at Internext approached me and asked me if I'd do a video about their upcoming product, and I thought it was fascinating enough that I said yes and potentially useful. And I'd love to see your comments as to how you think this is going to work out as a product and if it's something that you would use. So what is Internext xCloud? It's cloud file storage system, right? So that's no biggie, right? You've heard Dropbox, of course, you've got iCloud, you've got Amazon, AWS, all that sort of thing. Well, this is those things, but crossed with blockchain technology. Essentially, it's decentralized file storage. Folks use their computers to store files for you, but little bits and little bytes. And you have an Excel spreadsheet. There's five bytes here. There's 10 bytes there. It's a decentralized network. So what would be the point of doing that? Well, it's a lot more secure. Number one, hackers, they spend their days and their nights entertaining themselves by trying to break into all these cloud storage systems. So and then they're typically centralized, so that's pretty easy to do. They want your Excel spreadsheet, well, they'll find the entire sheet intact, perhaps, if they do succeed in breaking in. Not so good. Second, there's government snooping. These days, with so much going on in various governments around the world, that could potentially be of concern as well. If the files are decentralized in so many different pinpoints, it's going to take one pretty enhanced warrant to actually get access to that sort of thing. They can't just say, oh, we're going to snoop on the whole darn server. Then there's reliability. Say the data center has a power outage and their redundant power backup goes out. It doesn't usually happen, but just in case, anything, an earthquake, whatever it is, your data is not going to go away because, again, it's decentralized file storage. Sort of, in a way, like BitTorrent, that kind of concept. So you're getting the idea now, right? Is this something that you would be interested in? Like I said, I'd like to hear in the comments. It, it, it is interesting to me, number one, because, for example, Amazon, AWS, people love to try to farm and get in there. And Employees from large companies have this habit of uploading files with customer data on password protected. So those same employees who duh, are not password protecting really important files that might have spreadsheets, say, with your social security number, or your banking information, or anything like that, then there's no way any, anymore that somebody can do that because they'll only get like this little bit and bite of a file, nothing useful. So that part's pretty nice. I myself, I don't put anything really that I, you know, my important banking and financial data. I don't put anything on the cloud because I do have concerns about these things. This might get me on board doing this sort of thing. So it's not interesting. How much does it cost? Well, you can pay two different ways. So you can play with regular old money, like $1.99 a month for 10 gigabytes of storage, for example. Or you can pay using their virtual currency. We're going to get in that, into that in a minute. Anyway, when is the service available? Q3 of 2018 of this year. It's going to be in beta at that point. If you sign up for the waitlist now, you'll be eligible to win over 50 INXT tokens each week until the beta launch later in Q3. One winner each week will be sent the token directly via a raffle. Just by signing up for the waitlist, you're eligible to win around $500 a week. Uh, the URL the link is down below. You've just seen the screenshot. Okay, so what is that INXT stuff? Well, here's the complicated, interesting thing. And again, this is something to wrap your head around. It goes with the geeky t-shirt here. So... They have another product called XCore that's coming. So XCore is the client storage component of this. So you leave your computer on all day at work, for example. So it can be just sitting there and be storing files for other people, bits and bytes of their files only. So you have the potential to make money. You can make this money to pay for whatever files you're storing, or you can do this just to make money. I, you know, people loved this sit at home and do nothing kind of make money kind of scheme. So Potentially, this could become popular, and that's interesting. So INXT, or basically their virtual currency, it's sort of like Bitcoin is the idea here. So there are 629,000 INXT tokens in all. They're not going to be creating more. They're not mineable, so it's not going to create a run on GPUs. So INXT itself could become a speculative virtual currency, if you will. You can buy it on Coin Exchange, for example. You can store it in any Ethereum compatible wallet. It gets to be a very complex idea where all of these components synergize together to basically give you this secure cloud storage in the end. You've got xCloud, 
where your files, doing your file storage securely, end-to-end -end encryption, by the way. Then you've got XCore, where people are storing the files in a decentralized way, and they're making some money with INXT, which is the virtual currency. So it's a fascinating idea. I think it's going to be the future of all cloud file storage in the end, this decentralized kind of thing. As to the whole thing being a little ahead of its time, I don't know. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. What do you think? That seems pretty promising to me, though. I'm Lisa from Mobile Tech Review. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more cool tech videos and thumbs up if you like this vid.